School can be tough. It's even tougher for some with special needs. There are 2.8 million students with severe to moderate disabilities in the U.S. public schools today. These students have a problem communicating, reading, writing, and discussing. One way of helping these students involve the use of peer tutors. Elizabeth Biggs is a senior at CHHS. She spends her day with kids like... L.J. Cross, who are in the special needs class. I first got involved working with special needs kids when I was probably kindergarten or first grade. My mom was a physical therapist for Harney County Schools, so whenever I went to private school, so whenever I had a day off, I would go to schools with her and hang out with the kids or go to parties, little pizza parties at certain schools, and it was a lot of fun, and I always just loved it. Miss Erin Brantley who is the special needs teacher, says that this is the first time she has worked with Elizabeth, but that she is a hard worker student. Elizabeth does a very good job with LJ. Um, she is his peer, so she is acting um, as his peer when you guys are doing like group activities or peer activities. Um, when you're pairing up as a group in class, she's she's acting as his peer. But then she's also kind of um, someone that helps him out and tutors him and guides him. Um, she can correct some behaviors and encourage him. Um, so she's she's not a teacher, but she's she's playing a larger role than just a peer as well. This trimester, she has worked with LJ in his CVP class to help him accomplish things in class. Ms. Blenda Stark, the TVP teacher in Harding Counties, has seen how Elizabeth interacts with LJ. She keeps him focused, and I think that that is a great benefit to him, to have someone that he can relate to to keep him on task and to help him by guiding him in completion of his assignment. Elizabeth says that she has learned a lot from working with LJ. For HCEC TV, I'm James Kennedy reporting from Central Harden High School.